it going? My name is Lindsay Bushman and I'm here with Splendid Spoon for some Pilates abs. I'm a Pilates instructor based in Los Angeles and also virtually. So grab your mat, you don't need any equipment, just yourself, and come meet me down on the floor for some quick core work. So those legs are gonna come right up into what we call a tabletop position. Your knees will stack over your hips. I'm gonna draw your belly in, pressing your low back into the floor to keep it nice and protected. And then bring your hands behind your head. And imagine your hands are like completely cradling your head, holding the weight of it. As you take an exhale, legs stay completely still. You're leading with your chest to lift up. Head is still heavy in the palms. And then inhale, we take it all the way back down. So we're just starting with something very basic. I want you to feel the work from your core rather than your neck. So let's try to just keep it slow and controlled until you really feel like your hands are holding your head. And when you curl up, you're lifting from your upper back. Those shoulder tips peel away from the floor and then we lower back down. As you curl up, I want you to take an exhale, breathing out through the mouth, tightening your low abs, and then inhale, breathing in through the nose, bringing the head back to the mat. It should feel like your upper back is creating a bit of a C shape, so it's rounding. Instead of lifting straight up to the ceiling, it's curling up and over that waist. Good, think about going four counts up nice and slow, big lift at the top, and four counts down. Resist gravity as you go back to the mat. Feeling good, guys? Let's take three more, just warming up that center. For three, and taking it down nice and slow. The distance between the chin and the chest will never change during this. It should always stay the same. So just make sure when you're up in this curl, your chin hasn't collapsed down towards that chest. One more right here, then we're gonna get into the series of five. We're gonna breathe out, curl up. Tighten that low belly. Breathe in, take it back down. Now for this series, you can keep your head down to modify. Bring your right knee to your chest. Extend your left leg long and low. We're gonna curl the head, neck, and shoulders up if appropriate. Point, flex your feet, and then switch your legs. Hug that left knee in, point, Flex the feet, and we switch, point, flex, and we switch, point, flex. Here's the breathing. Inhale, inhale, switch the leg, exhale, exhale. A little bit of coordination, we got this. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Good, here we go. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale. You're lifting that heart up over your waist. Breathe in, in, breathe out and out. Let's go four more. Let's get a little higher in that chest. Last three. Final two. Point, flex, switch, point, flex. Final one. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Now both legs to tabletop. Knees are gonna come over the hips and no closer. So we're gonna try to make it a little bit harder. Hands reach up towards the ankles. Then you'll extend everything long. Lift your chest through your arms. Circle your arms around, bend your knees, stop them over your hips, and then reach for your ankles with your chest. Lengthen everything long, stretch. Lift your chest through your arms. Bring your legs to tabletop, knees stop over the line of the hips, and then reach for those ankles with those hands. Big high crunch. Breathe in, lengthen. Lift your chest up a little higher. Circle those arms around, tap your ankles. Can we go for three more? Inhale, lengthen out through the body. Exhale, circle around. Resist bringing those knees too close. We curl up. Big stretch, chest tall. Circle around, reach for the ankles. Last one, inhale, lengthen. Pull the heart through the arms. Circle around, touch your ankles and then rest your head with your hands behind your head. Right leg straight up, left leg down at 45 degrees. Press your low back and your rib cage into the floor. We're gonna go three scissor switches. Right leg down, left leg up. Left leg down, right leg up. One more. Left leg down, right leg up. 
Here we go, curl up. We're gonna switch for three, switch three. Switch two, switch one, rest the head. We switch for three, two, one. We curl up, switch for three, two, one. That's the series, three at the bottom, three at the top. We're going for flexibility here. Straight legs, pointed toes, lengthen through those kneecaps. Continue to press that lumbar spine, that's that low back, into the floor so there's no back bend in the spine. Curl up and over the ribs as you lift. Head heavy in the palms. Rest and relax the neck at the bottom. Let's go three more sets. We curl up, switch for three, two, one. Rest the head, alternate three, two, one. Two more sets, curl up, three, two, one, head down, we switch, three, two, one, last set, curl up, three, two, one, rest the head, three, two, one, both legs straight up to the sky, no closer than your hips, so make sure your booty doesn't lift off the floor, hands are behind the head, and then the head is heavy in the palms, take a breath in, you'll lower your legs to your lowest point, maybe that's here, Maybe that's here, maybe that's all the way to a hover. Then you're gonna exhale, lift your legs up slowly without swinging them. Curl the chest up and give me two pulses of your chest at the top. Lift, lift, head goes down, legs go down. Belly button on the floor. Then as you lift your legs, curl your chest up and give me two pulses. Try to get your upper back away from the mat when you lift that chest higher and higher. Breathe in, legs go down. Breathe out, legs and chest come up, lift, lift. Tighten the low belly, reach long through your toes, pull in through your core. Curl up, we pulse and pulse. We're here for four, breathe in through the nose. As you curl out, breathe out through the mouth. Good, breathe in and stretch long through the thighs. Breathe out, curl high through that chest, exhale. Exhale, we have two. Curling up and into it, those abs should be firing up. I'm sweating. Last one, breathe in, take it down. Breathe out, we curl up. Pulse, pulse. Okay, we're coming into some bicycles, but we're gonna do a variation, so we're gonna learn the legs first. The legs will stay as straight as they can. They're gonna lower down to the front left corner of the mat and then exhale, lift up, and then the lower down to the front right corner of the mat, and exhale, lift up. So they're drawing kind of like a pyramid shape. Leg goes down to the left, back up through center, legs go down to the right, back up through center. Now the upper body is gonna twist the opposite way. So legs go left, we're up in our curl, upper body goes right, bring everything back through center. Legs go to the right, chest goes to the left, back through center. Try to stay high in those shoulder blades. Inhale into the twist, exhale back through the middle. See if you can rest your head back any amount and bring it back up. Let's go for five, here we go. Twist right, lower the legs left, come center. Twist left, lower those legs right, come center. We have four more sets. Squeeze those inner thighs and glutes together. When you lower your legs, we're still keeping the hips on the floor. So they're not going so far to one side that your booty lifts off that mat. Guys, this is our last thing in the series of five. So hold on, nice and strong, get your back up. We have two more sets, breathe in. Low belly pulls down, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, final one, legs left, chest right, both shoulder blades off that mat, and final one, twist left, lower right, and bring it through center. Hug those knees in, you deserve it. We are going to wrap it up with a plank variation. So, come meet me on your forearms, this is our final little Zinger for the abs. You're gonna have your forearms down, elbows underneath shoulders. Tuck your toes, find a nice high plank. Now I want you to be careful about sticking your butt up or letting your hips drop down. So your hips should be in line with your upper back. 
The legs work in a plank, so knees aren't soft, but knees are straight. Push your heels back and pull the crown of your head forward. We're gonna draw a circle with our whole body. So you're gonna shift your weight right foot, right arm, left arm, left foot. So we're going around the world. We're going counterclockwise to start. Right foot, right arm, left arm, left foot. Good, slow control, pull your face away from the mat. We're gonna go 20 more seconds in this direction and all we have is a reverse and a child's pose. Good, pull up through your center and reach your heart past those hands. Let's switch in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you're gonna go left foot, left arm, right arm, right foot. Now we're going clockwise with those circles. You have 28 seconds right here. If this is too hard, you drop to your knees, you give me a modified plank, you hang on to it for the last 15 seconds. Zip those abs up. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, keep it up guys, we're there in five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, knees down, hips to the heels, stretch it out, drop that head down. Take three deep breaths here, being proud of yourself for making it through that challenging and quick core workout. Good, deep exhale, letting it go. Slide forward, come to lay on your belly. We gotta stretch out that abdominal wall. My hair is everywhere. Okay, hands are gonna come underneath the shoulders unless you're really tight in your back. Bring them up a little bit higher. Draw your elbows to your sides and reach your tailbone to your heels. Breathe and lift up and stretch that core. Now when you're up here at the top, I want you to make sure your shoulders aren't on your neck. So drop those shoulders down, elbows come in, pull your heart forward and up. Good, lean onto the left thigh, look to the right. And then lean onto the right thigh and look to the left. Good, come back through center. Press yourself up all fours. Let's take a couple cat cows. Turn your hands so your fingers point towards you. We'll just get a nice additional wrist stretch here. Palms down, spread through the 10 fingertips. You're gonna exhale, push the earth away from you, lift your navel. And then inhale, lengthen the belly, pull the heart through the arms and the shoulders down off the neck. Let's take two more. Exhale, lift up through that waist, kick your shins and your palms down. And then inhale, reach your tail up and back and your heart forward and up. The last one, exhale, scoop through the belly. And inhale, open up through the heart. Exhale, walk those hands to you, shake those wrists out. Amazing work, you guys. Thank you so much for doing a quick Pilates abs with me. My name is Lindsay Bushman. You can find me on YouTube. My channel is Pilates On Demand, and you can also find me on Instagram at Lindsay Rosebush. I look forward to doing more workouts with you, and thank you so much, Splendid Spoon, for having me, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.